Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Little Nightmares' first DLC, The Depths. It's spooky. I turned the brightness up just a tad because I was getting a few complaints that was a little bit dark. A little bit too dark, I should say. So we can't pull that lever in the center. We can land on this. And I bet now we can pull that lever. Oh, it's just this eerie electric buzz. Can we push it further? We can pull it back and drain it. So this is part of a puzzle. Forward one, what about further? Now is that controlling it? where the water will rise to, or just how fast it rises. Looks like we need to go through there. Oh. I thought that was going to be a little bit more interactive. Mmm, hating all this water though. I can't tell if I just heard something move. And the sudden sound of a dog barking outside actually spooked me. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, fuck this. Oh, shit. Okay, but where'd it go? Oh! Oh! Hmm? So it's right under me. Getting ready to tap the barrel. Holy shit. Oh, I'm not gonna make this! Oh. Oh shit. I still have the cursor up there in the corner. Okay, so there's a platform. There are little bits of flotsam just hanging out here. Doesn't look like she was alerted when I landed on the barrel. Oh my god, she was just right there! <laughs> she gets locked into that animation of jarring the thing that she's under. Oh, that's good to know. A little leapfrog. Holy f shit. So, Agathocles, I hope I'm saying that right, in the comments pointed out the uh, flashlight that we're so happily taken advantage of belonged to the child that we saw, which I should have put that together, but we see the flashlight by itself after chasing the kid. We see black goo all over. We see a handprint in black on the plank right after we pick it up. And then there's a fatter than usual leech. And that's just solid environmental storytelling. Also, we saw the fucking thing gripping onto this sack full of what appears to be dead kids. Oh. No. <laughs> Those just limbs? Oh shit. No, those are fish heads? Jesus. Long arm of the maw returns. 
So what is that? Okay, that's not too bad. That's actually really annoying. There, okay. Can we wait for it to sway back a little? Because this jump's really fidgety. I think that took me like five minutes, especially because of how long it takes between resets. Especially if you get caught and you don't make it back to land. That seems right. Okay. She's eating more than just the kids. Is that the first time we've seen that? No, the chef was chopping up fish heads too, right? In addition to the kids? Why are they feeding her? If they... If they have other food sources, why are they eating the kids? Just because they can. We're delicacies to them. Oh, what was that? They're doing it because they're a bunch of rich assholes who just have the resources to do whatever they want, even if that means cannibalizing children. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. Come on. I can't get up on it. Okay, it doesn't appear to be in this room. Just gonna drain it. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking about this, and Six cuts a way better silhouette than our DLC protagonist. A better silhouette, and she had better contrast against the darks of the backgrounds. The blues and the grays with her yellow raincoat. Whereas he tends to blend in. You can make that. Oh, there's a lock, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's in that... wriggling pot. Uh. So there's a key and a leech. Or leeches. Or maybe one of the gnomes. Oh, hey, it's the painting in the photo. And or the photo, I should say. Okay. Oh, he floated in midair for a sec. That's fine. Let's kite him a little bit. Okay. And... Ooh, that key is... Fuck, the key is heavy. Cannot move well with it. Oh, we're still a little faster. <laughs> might be a problem depending on how fast or slow that animation is. Woo. It's amazing that they can make the leech feel threatening even after surviving the long arms of the maw coming at you from underwater. Okay, so there is a current running through the water. We can surmise that much. And now the water level is low enough that we can dive in. Okay, so there is more to it. Hmm. So we're going to have to pull this over. 
into just the right spot so that we can make a running jump onto it once the water level is raised. Is that good enough? Wait, I saw something in the foreground. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to make that in one. Let me go see what that was in the foreground, because it kind of looks like another one of these. And if that's the case, then that simplifies this a whole lot. Uh, yes, it is. Good. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and push this over the edge. And then drag that into position next to the other one. And then it shouldn't be that hard to make this jump. Effectively gives me double the leeway. And then, we come up here, and we raise the water level, and make our jump. I just have to hope my depth perception is not terrible. I guess that's why they let you line it up this way. Okay. Oh, I cut it a little bit close. The shower? Or what is down here? Oh, I apparently died. <laughs> oh, come on! I don't have to drag all that stuff back, do I? Oh, no, that's good. <laughs> this is what you get for being curious. So we don't go down the hole again. Okay. We can handle that. Oh! No, thank you. Oh, I hate that. I think I jumped prematurely. And then the green suit case. Come on. Knock into it. Come on. Oh, you can actually see her arms coming up. Okay, then the barrel, and then this. It won't let me on the barrel! Hmm. I think that's gonna do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.